streaming video. Go with the flow. Hello, my name is Bonnie Petrie, reference librarian and faculty video liaison. In this presentation, we're going to look at several things. First of all, what does a faculty video liaison do? All faculty streaming video requests from the form on our website or Canopy come to me along with a few emails. I keep a spreadsheet of them, which I share with Dean Lubis. When I get one, I identify a source and a price. This process may be quick, for example, if the video is already available, or require a search of commercial streaming services, directors' websites, production companies, distribution companies, etc. If the library has money for it purchase, I place the order and follow through with the faculty member when the video is available. If there's no money or no source for a video, I provide alternatives whenever possible. I also get all of the student requests from Canopy. Most of the time, they have an assignment to watch a video that's already available to them elsewhere. I redirect each one of them. We'll be taking a look at some factors affecting availability of streaming video to universities. You'll get some tips for doing your streaming video assignments. And we'll wind up today with a demonstration of OneSearch, which you can use to search all available streaming videos at once. You will remember the recent strikes involving writers and actors. These are just two of the myriad professions that must work together to make films happen. Uh, this quote that I found on the blog post by Chris, who did not give a last name, uh, really says it all. The list is seemingly endless and even on the low end. There are so many professions that are involved in making just one documentary. And of course, with the streaming revolution and AI, it further complicates things. Here are some factors to consider. Commercial streaming services have set high user expectations which are unrealistic for libraries. Filmmakers can lose control of their creations or conversely, guard them so closely that access is limited. I'm looking at you, Disney. I've learned that directors, producers, and production companies, distributors, etc., do not always regain control over their properties or have the ability to provide access to them. And at this time, April 2024, consumer-based streaming services do not sell either access or content to universities. Now, you may have heard of Netflix uh, and their media center, the Netflix Media Center. Uh, this is a website that Netflix subscribers can use uh, to identify documentaries that are available for one-time classroom screenings but only the documentaries that are clearly labeled grant of permission for educational screenings are eligible. Other Netflix content may only be shared with the subscribers household members. Uh, I did some searches uh, in this uh, website and um, there's, there's some uh, documentaries there, but I didn't really find a lot. You may have better results. Some more factors to consider. Filmmakers may be financially or contractually unable to offer their films in streaming format. DVD-only format is still very common. And here's a hint. The CSUSB libraries have a lot of DVDs and some Blu-rays that you can check out. And thanks to Interlibrary Loan, you can also request DVDs from other CSU libraries. Foreign films may only appear briefly outside their country or region. And winning lots of awards is no guarantee that a film is available, particularly independent films. The supply chain that exists between a filmmaker's initial idea and delivery of a streaming video to you and your students is both long and intricate. No wonder this is such a volatile industry. And of course, the cost. You knew I was going to mention that. The lower end of this scale corresponds to short-term licenses, the higher end to perpetual ones. And unfortunately, many videos do not come with a perpetual license option. When we have money to spend on streaming videos, we only purchase perpetual or life-of-file licenses because we get to keep something 
and that improves stability for faculty. Now, if you or your department can afford to pay for other types of licenses, say a one-year or a three-year, the library can process the purchase and make that available. Looking for video to use in your class? Make our streaming video databases your first stop. Going to use the same video again this semester? Check well in advance that it is still available. This can be as simple as a quick search in OneSearch or sending an email to me, Librarian Bonnie Petrie. Please know that there is normally a certain amount of regular turnover in our streaming video databases that we have no control over. For example, something that has been available for a long time in Canopy can go away as contracts end and new items are added. Always have a plan B in case the video you want is not available. And please be aware that your students may need to individually rent a streaming video from a consumer-based service if that's the only source. You have immediate access through the library to more than 100,000 streaming videos across multiple databases. I will demonstrate how you can search the contents of all of our streaming video databases at once with OneSearch. But first, I want to show you where to find the faculty video request form, the streaming video databases in our list of databases, and the user's guide that accompany them on our website. Here we are in the library's website, and to find that online form I mentioned, go to Services, and over to Faculty Video Request Form. We have a link to a message from Dean Lubis about our policy on buying perpetual licenses, and then the form which you can fill out with as much information as you have so that we can track down what you're interested in. And I'm going to go back to the beginning. I do want to show you where the individual streaming video databases live. And you would go to Choose a Database, and then to the section for Video, just in case you want to search these individually. But it's good to know what you're actually drawing on when you search them all at once. So the Avon database, Academic Video Online, uh, rather than Cosmetics, um, is quite large and it's divided into chapters that deal with particular subjects. And we have separated out some of those for you to make it a little more convenient. Uh, you've got some uh, packages that we bought from uh, Canopy. You've got some theater things. You've got rather a lot here to choose from. We've got a lot of PBS content that we've added. And we also have Swank, which is uh, the top 1,000 most requested films by uh, campuses at uh, colleges and universities. But down here in the bottom, if you keep scrolling, you'll see some more things there that you can search that we've separated out for you from the Avon database. We also have the National Theatre Collection from Great Britain, and even some uh, online learning ebooks with, that have occasional um, videos in them. But down here in the Guides section, this is where I've been creating guides to all of these databases. So if you do want to search them individually, uh, let's take a look at the Avon and PBS databases right there. You have very basic information on how to conduct a search, with a reminder that you can search all streaming video databases at once. Uh, if there are links to helpful tutorials from the database vendors, I will provide them here. Um, Avon does work with PlayPosit to create uh, learning interactions that you can insert into uh, videos as you choose. You've got all the tutorials there. You'll also find on the second tab how to link to Avon videos if you search individual databases. And also a way to link to any video in OneSearch. I also have added to each of these guides a link to an online book Copyright Law for Librarians and Educators, Creative Strategies, and Practical Solutions. 
You might find that helpful. Now let me go back. And the other one I would like to highlight is the guide to Canopy databases. So just like we saw before, we've got how to find the Canopy videos, how to link to them. Uh, Canopy is, um, is unique uh, in that it presents users with lists of things they can request for their library. Uh, no matter how you get into Canopy, these seem to come up. Um, and this is not a guarantee that if you submit a request there that you can actually get them. Um, as mentioned in the first part of my uh, presentation, there are many factors that play into whether we can get them or not. And you have, again, uh, a link to creating custom playlists. This is something from Canopy. Reminders, I'm searching all, of, all databases at once there. How to link to Canopy videos. And a third tab here, just for Canopy, because if you're familiar with how Canopy works at public libraries, it's very different than the way Canopy works for us. Uh, with the public libraries, you can pretty much have access to, it seems, most anything Canopy offers with a current library card and a sign-in. And maybe your students uh, have a library card at one of these public libraries that offers a different access to Canopy. Uh, and if so, they can use this site on Canopy to discover if that library is near them. So you do have that. And I will say that because I get all of the student Canopy requests, Sometimes I encounter situations where a faculty member has given a Canopy video assignment without checking to see if it's one that we actually have available. And sometimes the video is not available anywhere else. And I try as soon as possible to notify the faculty member and redirect the students. So hopefully you can avoid situations like that. All right, so I'm going to go back to the beginning here and show you one search. So you can search, uh, of course, for keywords, but you can do some other things here that will bring up streaming videos. And it's very simple, really. So I'm going to start typing here, marketing models. When I start typing, I get the drop down menu and I choose books and media CSUSB. And once I get my list of results, over on the left-hand side, I'm going to click Available Online and Video, and then Apply Filters. And I can keep filters active while I search, do multiple searches, if I click there. And now we find that we have 26 streaming videos on marketing models. Who knew? I'll be showing you some more things here. Let's try Black Lives Matter. I'm already set up for Books and Media CSUSB, so I just press Enter. I already have video and available online checked, and so I can see I have 23 results. For my search. And you can click on either the title or the available online link to go to a screen where you get the link to the database and through on to the video itself. Now you can link uh, from your um, online class website. You can link here to a video. If you go to permalink Copy the link to the clipboard, close it, and then paste it wherever you need it to be. Uh, that will bring students right to this page where they would then click on Academic Video Online or whatever database is in the link here. That's one way of linking to any streaming video that's in OneSearch. And go back and clear that search. 
you can also search for specific people. Let me put in somebody's name here. Benedict Cumberbatch and enter. And we find 15 results in streaming videos that mention Benedict Cumberbatch. And the first one up is from our Royal National Theatre collection where he portrayed either Frankenstein the scientist or Frankenstein the monster in a performance that was filmed. And let me show another one. Let's say, oops, that you're interested in something. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Oh, spelling counts. David Attenborough. Hundred and twenty-eight results in streaming videos that mention David Attenborough. And Steven Spielberg. 40 results for Steven Spielberg. And as I said before, you just click the title or the green available online and then you have access to the database where it is and the permalink if you wish to link right there and you can also do video titles ladybird You can do also series titles. Now this is very important for our PBS content. If you know you want to do something from the American Experience series and you want to see what we have available, just type that in and as long as you've got these filters selected video and available online, you're going to see all the streaming videos. And here we have over a thousand things from American Experience. You can do Frontline, another PBS series, 354 videos there. And things like 60 minutes, 2,339 mentions of 60 minutes that are streaming in streaming videos. And one more search, Masterpiece for Masterpiece Theater. And there's 373 results. Well, in conclusion, uh, I just want to mention that when it comes time to renew subscriptions to streaming video databases, we look at the usage statistics to see if it's actually gotten enough use to justify the cost. So please use the streaming videos in our collection and please use OneSearch to search them all at once. It's so much easier than going database by database. Thank you for watching.